Bonnie! <laughs> Simon! What's going on everyone? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Simo, and Peabody and I are really good friends. So this week, we decided to actually swap videos and do a video for a series on the other person's channel. So you can come on over to my channel, which is Simo, C-I-M with eight O's, and you can see what video he did for my channel. So for my guest upload, Peabody wanted me to do a bunny story, which is a story that's supposed to have an ending to it, that's supposed to help teach all of you guys a good lesson in life, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever it may be. So let's get right into it. So just recently, Peabody actually came here to Las Vegas for a regional, and it's so much fun when him and I have the chance to get together and hang out, because it's just good company, Yu-Gi-Oh, and just a whole lot of fun. And something that we were talking about is every time we manage to go to events, we never really eat, and this is like a phenomenon that like, it seems to just apply to all people that play Yu-Gi-Oh! and go to events. That eating is just such a struggle, and it's for a multitude of reasons. You know, you might not eat breakfast in the morning, that might be your first problem, so you might already be hungry going into the event. You might not bring any snacks, which is like just totally just killing yourself. And the problem is the venue where the event is located, you know, some venues don't even have a place to eat. And if they do have a place to eat, the food is ridiculously overpriced and you don't want to pay for it. So you end up just starving yourself just because you want to hold out and wait. And the thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! is that it requires so much brain power, you know, there's so much cognitive processing going on in contemplating your moves and just doing all these different things. And it goes on for such an extended period of time. You know, some of these events go on for like eight, nine, ten rounds. And each round lasts about an hour. You know, I know it's only 40 minutes per round, but if you add in the fact of like time, and then you, you barely have like any time between rounds to even eat, let alone like have a chance to give your brain a break. And so Dennis and I were talking about how it's so funny that at the end of an event, you know, you've been at the venue all day, and by the end of it, you are fucking starving. Like, you cannot wait to get out of there and eat anything. And the thing is, you can eat the worst possible food imaginable, and it will taste like absolute heaven. And so after the event, Dennis, David, and the whole group of friends and I actually went out to go get pho, and oh my god, it was like some of the best pho I've ever had. I remember all of us were sitting around the table, and we got like egg rolls, and we were just all like, Oh my god, this is so good! <laughs> because I, I honestly think everyone can relate to this. You, you can just go and get like McDonald's and it will be the best tasting McDonald's you've ever had in your life. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy what it happens when you just haven't eaten for over 12 hours and you just get some amount of food into your system and you're just like, Oh, it's so good! <laughs> Another instance of this was when YCS Las Vegas was held last year, and another friend of mine came into town. We were there the whole day, we didn't eat because the venue had overpriced food, and we ended up going to Wendy's after everything was said and done, and we got Wendy's, and it was the best tasting <laughs> Wendy's we've ever had in our lives. Like, both of us hate barbecue sauce. We got barbecue sauce with our chicken nuggets, and both of us were saying, this is the best barbecue sauce we've ever had. So I guess there's two morals to the story here. The first moral is that when you go to an event, eat some breakfast, or at the very least, bring snacks with you. I know for me now, I bring like a cereal bar or like a granola bar or something for every round that I expect the tournament to be. <laughs> because in between rounds, once I finish, I'll just quickly eat it, you know, drink some water, and then I'm constantly keeping my body fueled with energy, which is really good. And it helps me not have to worry about being hungry or being fatigued or anything like that. And the second moral of the story is that at the end of the day, if you didn't eat anything, whatever you do decide to go eat is going to taste absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what your guys' experiences are with food and going to Yu-Gi-Oh! events, because I bet a lot of us have some really good stories to tell. I want to thank Peabody for letting me upload this on his channel. Be sure to come over and check out my channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. <laughs>